Hello, 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 my dear farmers. Welcome for today's training. My name is Akule Ronald, an agronomist, and at the same time I'm a farmer dealing with vegetable production. Today is 31st of August 2024, and I'm going to take you through on vegetable production, basically cabbage growing. Yeah. Cabbage production starts from the idea how it comes in your mind that you want to produce cabbage. And uh, if the idea comes in, the first thing which comes to your mind is how you can secure the seeds, how you can acquire the land and the other things. So when you come up with that idea, the first step you'll make is you need to start establishing nursery bed. But before you establish a nursery bed, there are factors to be considered or to be considered in a nursery bed establishment. One of them is site selection, whereby you need to select a site which is well drained deep fertile and a bit cooler because cabbage is cool weather crop secondly you need to think about the security of this nursery bed meaning it has to be established near the home state so that you can easily access and it has to be accessible near the road so that coming to it becomes easier for you you have to think about it as being crop and you know very well the crop needs water in the case there is a scarcity of water how can you water these things the nursery bed has to be close to water source Lastly, the variety you are going to plant has to be in your mind. There are basic attributes which you need to consider in selecting this variety, which includes the high yield, pest and disease tolerance, heat resistance, to mention but few. So, what we are going to plant today is a cabbage called Escaz F1. It is a hybrid variety which comes from Kenya. This variety is tolerant to heat. It is widely adopted to different agroecological zones. And it yields ranging from 2.5 kilograms to 3.5 kilograms. So, after selecting the variety, you go to the nursery bed establishment. Under nursery bed establishment, there are things you need to follow. First of all, you have to prepare the land by digging it deeply, at least 30 centimeters deep. And uh, you allow this place to settle for at least three weeks, such that some of the grass and the other organic matter to decompose, which can again add fertility to the soil. As you can see, this site has been prepared for now three weeks and the soil has become so soft it is loose which can easily facilitate aeration 
root penetration becomes easier and water infiltration as well become easier. After making the nursery bed like this, by raising the ridges at least 10 to 15 centimeter high, and you measure width of 1 meter or 1.5 meter, and then the length of your desire. You need to go for sterilization of this soil. The sterilization of the soil are in different categories. One, you can use chemical. By use of chemical, you can use the fungicide, which is contact fungicide. And you can use insecticide. Mostly, we use carbofuran as an insecticide, which uh, prevent the insects from disturbing the seedling after germination. You need to consider the disease that may attack these seedlings. And the most of the disease which attack the seedlings are fungal diseases. More especially the damping off. Damping off is a fungal infection which normally affect the seedlings at the early stage after sprouting. When the seed sprouts, sometimes it dies off, sometimes before it sprouts, the roots just come small and it dies immediately. That is what is called damping off. And this can be prevented by use of mango zeb. This product you are seeing here, the trade name is Winner, but the active ingredient in it is metal axel and mango zeb. So the mango zeb is the one which prevents this fungal infection I was talking about. If you don't have money to buy this chemical, you can use hot water. After boiling the hot water, you pour it on this ground where you are going to show your seedlings, I mean your seeds. You allow it to settle for the whole day and then the following day that's when you can sow your seeds if you think use of hot water is delaying you you can as well burn some grass on this site where the grass has to be not completely dry because when it is completely dry, it can burn very fast. Let it be somehow moist, so that the rate of burning will be a bit lower and the heat will penetrate at least 15 centimeters deep, so that the soil part of them will be completely burnt and it will leave the soil free from disease and other insects that may disturb the seeds or the seedlings. So, after soil sterilization, you now come to sow your seeds. In the cabbage production, sowing the seed is just something simple. You can make a line on this region which is facing should be 15 centimeter if you measure this 15 centimeter like this 
Then you start putting the seeds one by one. Make sure the seeds are at least two centimeters apart. You can see. If you put these things two centimeters apart, after germination, the seed will start growing with vigor. If the seed starts growing with vigor, it will make the seedlings to manufacture its food very fast and with the use of food they are manufacturing the seeds become healthy and if you look at the spacing there will be no competition for water for air and nutrient so this one will make your seeds to grow very fast they grow stronger so that when you transplant them in your seed bed they can as well grow with the same vigor so after showing the seed make sure you cover the seeds lightly with soil particles so that they can germinate very fast and after covering it with the soil particle you also make sure you cover it with grass this grass will help to keep the soil moist and at the same time when the raindrops will not wash away the seeds from where you place them but make sure you are checking these things at least after every two days immediately when they germinate you need to raise this thing up when you raise it up you have to raise them at least 75 centimeter higher such that the seedlings will benefit from the morning sunshine sign and the evening sun sign. One thing you have to put into consideration is the nursery bed must be from north to south such that the sun will be received by these seedlings in an adequate way because a crop must receive sunshine at least eight hours per day. So when this thing germinates and you raise it up, don't leave it there. You need to keep on monitoring. What are you going to monitor? One, you will be monitoring pest, more especially Catworm. Catworm is a dangerous insect that normally destroys seedlings after germination. This catworm normally works at night. You find during the day hours the seedlings are fine, but the following morning you find some of the seedlings are wilting. You could wonder what will be the problem. But coming to check them, you will not see the catworm. So, if you happen to see such kind of things, in your nursery bed, know very well that that is catworm. So when you realize the catworms are destroying these seedlings, 
immediately start spraying with the insecticide. So there you can use the contact insecticide, things like cypermetrin, uh, things like uh, chlorophenophos, things like uh, abamectin. You can as well use inert to control these uh, cutworms. Again, you are monitoring this thing to check whether there is a fungal infection. When you see the signs of fungal infection, as I told you earlier, after germination, some seedlings tend to die. So when you see such kind of things, you can be able to spray the fungicide, which is recommended. I recommend copper fungicide. That can be copper house chloride, or you can use copper sulfate to treat this fungicide, I mean fungal infection, in nursery bed. So you monitor these things in three weeks. When a seedling stays for three weeks, they will be ready for transplanting. Okay, if you reach to the stage of transplanting, before you transplant, there is what we call hardening off. Hardening off is training of these seedlings to persevere the hot weather conditions or to persevere the stress. That may come when you transplant these things to the seed bed. How do you do this hardening off? Remember I told you after germination of these seeds you have to raise it up and cover it with the grass. So the hardening off will be done in this way. You will start removing this grass. Actually the seed slowly slowly. Today you may pick small you leave it slightly so that the city will not fail that they are completely exposed to sun heat. The following day again, you remove some grass. You just remove those grass slowly, slowly, slowly until you remove all of them. So by the time you remove all of them, the seedlings will be ready to be transplanted, meaning they can persevere the stress that may occur in the field. And then transplanting has to be done in the evening. Make sure you transplant when the soil is moist such that the seedling will pick up very fast. Otherwise, if you transplant when the soil is not moist, it can easily cause shocking of these seedlings and you lose a lot of seedlings. Remember, the yield you are expecting is determined by the plant population in your garden. The more the plant population, the higher the yield. So, if you transplant the seedlings and most of them collapse. That one affects your yield and automatically it also affects your profit. So you need to put in consideration transplanting, transplanting has to be done in the evening and make sure the soil is moist. After transplanting, cabbage 
needs a lot of moisture. If it fails to rain, you have to irrigate these seedlings from the seed bed the following day for at least three weeks, I mean three days, so that they will be stable and they will pick up from there now. After transplanting, you have to cover these seedlings to avoid it from too much sunshine. Though it has been hardened, the sun heat varies from day to day. There might be a day whereby the sun heat might be too much, which will again affect the seedlings from the field. So you need to cover it with thick leaf. If you cover them with thick leaf, the thick leaf will protect the too much sunshine. The next three days, so that the seedling will be very fine and it will pick up immediately. So, after doing that, make sure you keep on monitoring these seedlings again from the field for the same purpose of pest and disease management. In cabbage production, you have to spray the insecticide and the fungicide after every 10 days, 10 to 14 days. You can mix these products together for spraying to reduce cost of labor and even time wastage. So you will continually spraying the insecticide and the fungicide throughout until you harvest this cabbage. This is where I'm going to end for today. As far as nursery bed establishment is concerned, the rest of the things will come when we transplant the seedlings to the seed bed. Thank you for listening.